Welcome back, folks, to more Let's Play Pokemon Sun. In the last episode, we were walking around and doing the first island trial. So, I finished work, and I'm a pint of DeSerrano and Coke down, and I feel better. So, let's go do this. Should I heal up Darcy? Probably yes. It will mean that I'll have to use one of my revives, but I do have six on me, so... On honest note, I'm probably fine. I've got 12 potions as well, so yeah, you can have one. There you go. Just in case, not sure how strong this totem Pokemon's going to be, but you guys, you guys don't need to do anything anymore. We beat the young goose. We're fine. Fantastic! You proved your worth to all three Pokemon. And go right ahead inside. As I disappear to over there. Could, couldn't they have just AI'd me to walk like this? See how easy that was? You can't do that. You suck. Alright. So now we can go into here, which is the Totem's Den. And if we walk closer... You feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut right through you. It doesn't actually cut right through you because this is Pokemon. And if it did cut right through you, that would be incredibly violent. But from where? Will you take the Z crystal from the pedestal? Yes, I will. I don't care about any gaze. I don't care about the gaze. Damn it. You... I actually just noticed what it said. G-A-Z-E gaze. If anyone who... Like that guy who said me, said about... Oh, we, we, I know what your people were like with that guy in Swords and Sounds that was purple. And accused me of being racist. It's like, I'm talking about the fact that he's a ranged attacker, you dunce. Anyway, uh, speaking of that, out of the way, uh, we have a Totem Gumshoe, Gumshoes here with high defense. So this is the Totem Pokemon of this cavern. It is a Gumshoes. Uh, it's got... Well, essentially, it's got higher defense, which is fine, because I'm just going to echo voice the crap out of it. See how much damage that does. Pretty good for a... T Ooh, okay, that was a crit as well. It's fine. Scary Face is fine as well, because we've got Aqua Jet, so... That doesn't matter. Gumshoes called its ally Pokemon an ass. It turned up, though. All right, so this is something that some Pokemon can do. They can call on ally Pokemon, and essentially, that makes it... Like, essentially a, a really big issue. Because <laughs> then there's like so many of them. Oh god, and the bite now. Don't flinch me. Please don't flinch me. Don't flinch me. Good. Echoed voice! That's fine, because all that does is power up echoed voice. Because now I can hit the gumshoes. By the way, you gain experience from the uh, other guys as well. Which is great, because I could technically grind on this guy for a bit. Uh, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to smack him with a double-powered Echo Voice, as long as he doesn't flinch me, which he does! Of course he does, because he's an ass. Fine. Fine. And I'll Aqua Jet instead. Have that. That did nothing. Alright, a bite. Darcy's nearly dead. I need to, I need to change this immediately. Mortar! You're my second-in-command at this point. Plus you got Brick Break, and Brick Break's certainly going to help me against Gumshoes. If I'd echoed voice gun shoes, I probably would have been alright, but I misclicked and uh, went for the uh, the other guy instead. Right, Brick Break. Let's see how much damage this does to a gum shoes with increased defense. Boom! Nearly kills it. That is a one health montage if I've ever seen it. Alright. Well, my speed's gone down. I wonder if I'm still faster than it. I might be. I'm not too sure. Am I still faster? No, I'm not. Goes for the nom. I do not get flinched, and I go for the peck instead. Goodbye, Totem Gumshoes. That's good, because now everyone gets experience. Mortar gets a lot of experience. Darcy's up level 16. Very nice. And the rest of the team gets experience. Canix up to 11. Cheers for that, Mortar. Good job. We have defeated the Totem Gumshoes. Probably because he had gum on his shoes. <laughs> what we're talking about? Gumshoes don't have shoes. Gumshoes disappeared back into the cave somewhere. What an incredible trainer you are. Oh, cheers, Lima. How long have you been out there? For you to be able to defeat the totem Pokemon, but I trained up to such a powerful state. 
I don't know what I can say. Um, here's like 500 rare candies. That would be nice. No, you're not going to do that. Working in harmony with your Pokemon, you've cleared the Trial of Lima. You're a phenomenal trainer. Congratulations, Mastrath. The Z Crystal from the pedestal is yours now. Nice. We get ourselves a Z Crystal. The first of many. Yay. Trial complete. Very nice. So essentially, if we look at any other uh, main series Pokemon game, that's our first gym down. We obtained Normalium Z. Normalium Z. Pretty much what this is, uh, so how the Z crystals work, I might as well go through this now, is that they are held items that you can give to a Pokemon. Um, if a... Uh, if the Pokemon that you've got has a move, which is the same type as the uh, Z crystal that you've given them, for example, Normalium Z, if there's a Pokemon that has, like, Tackle, let's say, you can use the Z move, you can uh, use a Z move once per battle. Um, and I believe you get, you're only allowed one Z crystal on your party. Um, or maybe it's, you could only use one Z move per battle, which might be more the case. Um, but anyway, it unleashes a powerful, really powerful move. Uh, which eclipses, like, most of the moves in the game. Um, so yeah, but then the, you can't use the Z crystal again for the rest of the thing. It, it it's alright, but it added, like, what, the three big things they've brought in the last three generations, which are Mega Evolutions, uh, Z crystals, and, uh, Gigantamax Pokemon, Dynamax Pokemon stuff. This is probably the most forgettable, I think, in my personal opinion, it's the most forgettable. Just because of the, the, the slightly edgy and some slightly silly names they gave the, uh, the Z-Crystal moves. Uh, but still. You open up the Z-Crystal's pocket. I apparently have a pocket for that. And put the Normalium Z away inside. Very nice. What you've just received is the normal Z-Crystal. It's known as Normalium Z. Now you can let a Pokemon that can use a normal type move hold that. And strike an elegant pose like this one. Yes, apparently you got to do a pose as well. Some of them are alright. Some of them are long-winded like that one. And some of them are just weird. Wait till we get to the weird ones. Then you'll be able to strengthen a normal type move by using, by unleashing Z power. Moving right along. Ah yes, first, there is one thing I forgot to mention. The totem Pokemon. In every locale where a captain holds his or her trials, you will encounter a particularly strong Pokemon, like Gumshoes just now. And during battles against such Pokemon, they may summon allies to shore up their defense. It's not a tactic often seen in other regions. Perhaps Pokemon in Alola are simply more inclined to help another. Since you have managed to defeat the Totem Pokemon and proved yourself, you can now try and catch any of the Pokemon you find here in this cave. In fact, have some great balls, because why not? Oh, bloody hell, yeah, Jesus, you're like five meters away from me. <laughs> and apparently I can get those ten great balls. Cheers for the ten great balls, though. That could have been very useful. And here, let me see to your Pokemon after all their hard work in there. Ah, that's a healing for me. Very nice. If we're done here, I have something interesting I'd like to show you. Come with me to Route 3. All right, Lima, cheers for that. Is that a... something up there? Can I even get up there? Oh, if I had Rock Smash. Damn! I had a Pokemon with Rock Smash and I got rid of it for Brick Break. I feel like there's something up here that I'm missing. Oh well. I had a Pokemon with Rock Smash and everything! Damn it! Ah, uh, I'll get Rock Smash at some point. Probably a TM or something for Rock Smash. Uh, cheers! Uh, but yeah, I'll get a TM for Rock Smash or something. I think there's, there's more than likely a TM for Rock Smash in this game. Surely. Surely there is. And, uh, yeah. I'll just come back and get whatever that is. If it's worth it, that is. I mean, if it's crap, then I'm not gonna bother. Let's be honest. 
All right, random young goose, level 11. It's all right. Let's do some decent damage to it. Pursuit. Ah. You were expecting me to switch out? Darcy is my best Pokemon. Actually, probably... Probably Mortar's my best Pokemon at this point. Just because it's evolved, so its stats are higher, but... Darcy is my starter, after all, so Darcy is probably better. Or will be better in the long run, but I don't know. That's the whole thing. I haven't played this game in, what, pretty much ever since it came out. Like, years and years ago. So, yeah. Well, a couple of years ago. What have we got here? We've got two bats! Do I want Crobat on my team? Part of me says yes, but uh, no. No. As I said, I want to give other Pokemon the, the, the spotlight here. So, as much as my mind's there going, go on, help out the... God damn it. Ha! See, not even Zubat's friends want to help him. What is up with this game? It's just like, no, Zubat's friends don't want to help him. Poor guy. Get over the absorb. Ouch. How dare you. How dare you, damn it. Play Zubat. Oh, is he actually going to... Yeah, he's actually going to get someone now this, this time, isn't he? Bugger! It's another Zubat! No, oh, I nearly killed, finished killing the first one. Damn you. I'm going to use Disarming Voice just to... There you go. Sod you! Sod you! That's one dead, at least. There you go, we killed the one that was calling friends. Stop calling... <laughs> really, can you really not call friends? Stop it. You get a bit of experience there. Good you're not calling friends, because that can get annoying fast. Alright, let's go for another water gun. Smack. Nice. Astonish. That's fine. Very weak ghost move. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Good. Good. Do you know what? I'm actually happy of that. Because I am not spending so long just waiting. You know, all that happening. Thank you. Alright. Zubat. Tried to call his friends. Most of his friends were out. One guy turned up, and they both died. So, nice one, Zubats, I guess. Good to stick together, I guess. Alright, let's get out of here. Because we need to go heal. No, Lima, we need to go heal. Apparently, we can't heal. Sod you, Lima. Those Zubats did a number on me. Greetings, Captain Lima here. Yes, I know who you are. As you travel around the islands of Alola, you will find captains' barricades here and there. These barricades help mark areas where particularly strong Pokemon can be found. Anyone can pass through them, of course, if they are escorted by a strong trainer. AKA, there was no other way for there was no other uh, way that Game Freak could think to prevent a trainer from missing this challenge completely by randomly putting up barricades, which means you need a strong trainer to pass through it. Yeah. You could have th thought of a better one there, but you didn't. Oh well. Shut up. Bloody right. Why are you... Sh your engine's going nuts. Why are you doing that now while I'm recording, you sod? Anyway. Those attempting the island challenge can pass the barricades, as long as they clear the trials. Are you ready? Then behold the power of a captain. Did you do- oh, oh, oh my god, you- you got rid of the dude as well! Oh no, there he is. <coughs> I thought for a minute you vaporized the dude! God, if you vaporized him as well, I'm there going, geez, I really want to be a captain. You know, you get the ability of Thanos. You get the Infinity Gauntlet, essentially. It's like, goodbye, big fat man with towel. Click, gone. Voila, your world just got a little bigger. I am the only captain here on Mele Mele Island, meaning my trial is the only one here. Now that you've cleared the trial, please inform our island kahuna, Hala. Okay, where the bloody am I going to find it? Well, Kukui's here, so... There you go. Cutscene city, bitch! Cutscene city. Oh, bloody hell, it's never-ending, isn't it? Hey there, Mastrath! Ooh, look at the expression on Lima's face. I'd say you just cleared your first trial. Yeah! 
I guess I better give you a little reward. Time to learn about Z Power. Woo! Uh, start off by selecting a compatible Z Crystal from the Z Crystal's pocket in your bag. Yeah! Then use the Z Crystal you choose on a Pokemon. Z Crystals are compatible with a Pokemon if it knows a move of the same type as the Crystal. Have your Pokemon hold Z Crystals and you'll be able to use Z Power in battles. And don't worry, you can use your Z Crystals over and over as m as many poke oh, no, on as many Pokemon as you want. But you can only use the actual Z uh, Crystals altogether once per battle. You don't get rid of them like a held item, like a berry or something, though. So that's that. That's what he means by that. It's not like oh, I'm going to use Z Ultra Shitstorm attack. You know, like every turn. You're not going to be able to do that. You'll be able to do it once, and then you can't use like. Uh, fire shitstorm. The fire type variant. You can't do that. So, you can only use, I believe, one Z move per battle. But the Z crystal does stick around, regardless. So, it's like a held item like uh, a charcoal or something. It will stick around, even though it does benefit your battle. Watch and learn, cousin. Oh, bloody hell, this cutscene is never ending. Oh, now we're in a battle, right? Right, right, it's drinky time. You bloody don't kill that Growlithe, damn it. I like Growlithe. Sod. The worst thing is you're attacking a Growlithe that's three levels lower than you. Plus, you got a Rockruff. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, and now it's time for the best name move in the game, Breakneck Blitz. It's like Flame Blitz, only Flare Blitz, sorry. Flare Blitz, but you break your own neck. So, um, bad spinal problems for you. That rock crop is going to be having some back problems in the future. Cane will be required. Maybe a Zimmer frame, possibly, possible wheelchair. Cheers, Kukui, for that one. Whew! Z Pass heap all of a trainer's feelings onto a Pokemon. Yeah! Is this just to try and increase the power creep even more? I mean, they've been doing it the last couple of um Yeah, the, the last couple of uh last couple of generations. I mean Gen 5 there was a big power creep because there were just so many good Pokemon that were created in Gen 5. You know, that really which essentially meant that good really good Pokemon in Generation 4 became okay in Generation uh, 5, unless your name was Garchomp. Gen 6, they brought out Mega Evolutions, which everyone bloody forgot about by the time Gen 7 came along. Gen 7 has Z-moves, which everyone had pretty much forgotten about when Gen 8 came along. And Gen 8's got Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon, which I'm fairly certain that everyone's going to forget the moment Gen 9 comes along. Seriously, if they're not going to have a lasting... The only thing that's had a lasting impact in the last couple of generations of Pokemon has been the fairy typing. That's it. The rest of it, you can forget about that. It doesn't matter. <sighs> Rant over. Which totally wears you out. Yeah, apparently it wears you out as well. Using Z... Pa uh, no, using Z power once per battle is all a team can handle. Yeah! Oh, so that's so that is why you've been looking so ragged, Professor. No, it's like I was hit with amnesia. I forgot that I lost Lily somewhere on Route Three. That you could, no, that you could spare some time to help me look up, look for a master. Sakes! No, you you saw it. She's your assistant, not mine. I can go and have a look around the cave for you, in case she wandered that way. We just came from there, Lima. Where the- we've- we've already checked there! She's not gonna be there! We were just there! Before this tutorial came along! Why would she be in there? You just don't want to do it, do you? Damn it! Yeah, let's- let, let's split up, apparently. Right! Oh, you want me to go back, apparently? Okay, I'll go back to the Pokemon Center. Actually, I should check around here, actually, because there may be a hidden item. That'd be nice. Some people may be thinking, bloody hell, he's ragging on this game a lot, you know. It's like, this game for me is forgettable. Apologies. Um, 
So like Gen 7 is pretty forgettable. Obviously Gen 6 is pretty rememberable. Uh, rememberable. Rememberable. I remember it well uh, because it was the first 3DS main series Pokemon game. You know, and I did kind of like it apart from the villains, which I thought were incredibly bland. Uh, Gen 7 is like the other way around, where everything else is bland, but the team is actually kind of fun. You know? <laughs> they are, they are. Sk team Skull are kind of fun. They got a lot of personality. They're bad. But at least they got a bit of personality. Team Flare didn't have any. I mean, they were just like, oh, we're Team Magma version 2, but we've got money to buy our own suits. You know, we're going to buy cheap suits for fun. Anyway. So, um, it seems like I've been ranting a lot, so we're going to go for a break here, I think. But in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Sun, uh, Finding Lily again. This game is so slow. And it's not just the Pokemon that were made in this generation that are bloody slow. I'll see you then.